It's game one of a best of five series in the Texas League South Division Championship Series between the Frisco Rough Riders and the Midland Rockhounds. And joining us today on the Rough Riders pregame show is game one starting pitcher Alex Chichi Gonzalez. Chichi, what's different about pitching in the playoffs versus the regular season from a preparation and an in game standpoint? Well, I try to keep everything the same, my routine the same. Uh, you know, just go out there like it's another day, uh, another game. But, uh, yeah, the best thing about it is that uh, no numbers are involved. You know, you just go out there and play. If something good happens, it happens good. If something bad happens, you know, at the end of the day, it's win or loss. Nobody cares if, uh, about the ERA or your batting average through the playoffs. I mean, I want to be on a winning team, and that's, that's what you need to do to get that ring is just win, period. At the same time, though, there is a little bit extra riding on the line in a playoff game. So how do you walk that fine line between treating this as a game with a little bit of extra meaning behind it, but at the same time sticking to the stuff that got you to this point in the first place? Yeah, I mean, like uh, when I first got drafted, uh, Don, Don Wilkie, I call him coach, uh, he told me uh, just have a mindset every game to, that it was, you know, it's the last game of World Series, game seven of World Series. So, um just always try to go out there, do your heart, like do your best, and win every game like it's going to be your last. So that's, I guess that's my mindset on this, uh, on the game, uh, is just, you know, go out there like it's the last one. It could be my last start of the season. You never know. I mean, it might be three and Q or, you know, vice versa. They might be three and Q or whatever. You take it to game five. But, yeah, I mean, I, I just I want to execute, minimize anything I can, like, uh, you know, my motto, one pitch at a time, basically. Uh, and that's about it, you know, just like a pit or one swing at a time. You never want to do look at the big picture. You just want to do small details, and then it'll take care of the rest. Chichi, you've pitched in the postseason during your professional career as well. Last year, in fact, for the Myrtle Beach Pelicans, in your one start last postseason, you went four and two-thirds innings, three hits, three runs allowed. Only one of those runs was an earned run two walks and four strikeouts as well. What did you learn from that experience? I just learned, uh, just I mean, just like I've learned all year, just throw a lot of strikes, uh, let your defense play. Um, you know, it's towards the end of the season, you, you know, you're not going to be as sharp as you were at midseason. So, uh, you know, hone in on your craft and then whatever happens in the bullpen before the game is to take it out there and perform. Don't try to change anything. If you don't, if I don't have my change up today, then I'm not going to throw it, you know, or as much. But, uh, yeah, you just, you're just going to hone in your craft and you got to deal with what you got for the day. Against the Rockhounds this season, you have a 2-1 and one record, a 2.16 ERA, and the Hounds are batting just 155 against you. Do you feel particularly comfortable against Midland's lineup? What challenges do they bring to the table? I mean, they're all, they're all good hitters, uh, one through nine. Uh, but I just got to focus on, you know, one inning at a time, you know, getting that first guy out and uh, just not let anybody get on base. That's the only way they could score. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to pitch around, you know, Max Muncy's power bat and then uh, the third baseman, I, can't, I forget it. Marte. Marte, yeah. Uh, those, you know, those big guys that could just, with one swing, score a run. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you just got to pick and, pick and choose, you know, your pitches, who, where you want to throw them to each of those guys. Um, but if I, think, if I handle those guys well, I think I'll be able to handle the whole game well. Keep your eye on Kent Mathis as well. He's got a couple of home runs yeah, under his belt. I hear what you're saying about wanting to keep everything the same in terms of your routine, but, but just when you look at your attack strategy for this Midland lineup in game one of the playoffs, are you looking to attack them in a different way perhaps than you did during the regular season? Any lessons you may have learned from facing Midland in the past? I mean, no, I just, I mean, I, I might have to change it, you know, throughout the game, see how the guys are doing, the you know, swing they're taking, but... Uh, but if if I'm locating my pitches down in the zone, and uh, you know they're not hitting the ball hard, then I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I mean, just with just performance, you know, results, seeing results throughout the game will t tell me how to pitch to them. We're with Chichi Gonzalez, Game One's starting pitcher for the Frisco Rough Riders in the 2014 postseason. Last question for you, Chichi. I wanted to ask you about one guy in particular in this Midland lineup, Dusty Coleman. He leads the Texas League in strikeouts, 200 strikeouts. He also leads the league in RBI. How do you work against a boomer bust guy like that? I mean, you just got to hope that there's nobody on base when he's up because, uh, I mean, he's either he's going to punch him out or he's going to get him in, like what you just said. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just the biggest factor is just take care of guys before I get to him. 
We appreciate the insight, Chichi, and we're wishing you best of luck. Hope the changeup is working, that and everything else on the mound for game one against the Rock Hounds. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's Alex Chichi Gonzalez. We're back in a moment on the Rough Riders Baseball Network.